We're going to listen to a person from China Association for Science and Technology. We're talking about Xunya Yao. Give a warm applause. Yeah, Thank you. Okay, my name is Shen Yu Yao, and I'm from China. And my research is about representing images and text with aligned meanings. Let me start with a phil philosophical question. How do we learn things? What I mean is, we see, we see things every day, we hear things every day, and we read things every day. But those past experiences, we'll never experience again. How are we supposed to use this past experience to generalize for future use? So machine learning answers this question using a concept called representation learning. In representation learning, we represent each data item, such as an image, or a text, or an audio wave, using a vector in mathematics, or to be embedded as a vector. This vector space has good semantics, so see the image on the right. We can represent words using a two-dimensional vector in a two-dimensional space. And now we have these words, king, man, woman, and queen. We can do vectors add addition and subtraction so that king minus man plus woman equals queen. And that is the semantics I'm talking about. The vector space has good semantics. We can uh, represent meanings inside these vectors. And my question is, can we extend this to two modes of data, such as images and text, such that they can be represented in this vector space with aligned meanings? So in machine learning, we have all the fancy models to encode separately images and text. More specifically, my project uses a model called convolutional neural network to encode images into vectors. And also, I use a um, yeah, thanks. I use a model called long short term memory to encode sentences into vectors. So you can think of a naive approach to uh, uh, combine these two encodings. So see, we have this uh, sentence and uh, we have the image. So the sentence is actually the caption of the image. So their meaning should be aligned. We represent them separately into vectors called X and V. Now the idea is if the image and the sentence have the same meaning, their vector should be similar. So we created a loss function to align, the mean, to align the vector x and v so that we can align the meaning of the image and the sentence. And to improve upon that, we actually have this idea of instructive loss, which means we can create an embedding of image plus sentence. To do that, we fit, we fit into the embedding of the image and the sentence. And we create another vector called x, v, x. That is the combination of the sentence of the image. So the idea is, if the image and sentence have, have aligned meanings, then the combination of the image and the sentence should also have aligned meanings with the sentence and the image. So we designed this another loss function called loss2. And we just have a weighted sum of these two loss functions as a new loss function we optimize. So here is the experiment section. We actually do two tasks. One is called sentence retrieval, another called image retrieval. So image retrieval, we actually use it every day. So in Google image search, we type in a sentence, and we find the closest image to the sentence. That's exactly what I'm talking about in image retrieval. We give, we give the model a sentence, and we, found, and we want to find the most uh, aligned uh, image with respect to the sentence. So in both of these tasks, our model achieved the best uh, performance at the time using the four metrics. And now I want to show you something very interesting. Here is uh, cross-model semantic regularities. So in the first row, we have this image of a yellow car. So we take the vector for this yellow car, and we subtract it by the word yellow plus blue. And we found out the vector is very, very, very similar to the image of a blue car. So that is, if in your head you imagine you see a yellow car, and you imagine you uh, replace the meaning yellow with blue, and then you have this image of blue car. 
Similarly, we have this dark in grass, replace grass with slow, and we have this image of this dog in the slow. And also, person in the slow replace people with dog. Then we have this dog in the slow. One thing I like this, about this example is like, it preserves the fact that the dog is brown, and the fact that the, uh, the people and the dog are actually in the slow. So actually, it can convey many meanings. Uh, the vector can convey uh, multiple meanings in the sentences and words. So to sum up, I think my project has both uh, applications and inspirations. From the application side, to align meanings of different forms of data, which is called cross-model data uh, representation, has like huge potential in applications. Google image search is just one great example. And from another point of view, it's also inspirational that uh, explains somehow how we humans can align what we see and what we hear and what we read at the same time. And that is uh, of cons uh, cognitive inspiration. Thank you. Thank you. High five. Yeah. Thank you for this presentation. And Sheshe, as I learned before. Sheshe. Sheshe, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's thank you in Mandarin, yeah. Yes, true. Amazing. Yeah, some applause. Yes, exactly. I'm practicing, I'm learning, I'm training, yeah. But thank you for the presentation. It's so nice to have you here. And once again, I'm so amazed by your presentation and all the knowledge. I have to ask you like this. Will the robots take over one day <laughs> or... Uh, what do you think? Will the robots robot take us, or will we be will we be safe? Ah, uh, I think we'll be safe. <laughs> we'll be safe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Personal opinion. Personal opinion. Yeah. I stick with you then. Does it sound good? We want to be safe. Yeah. We get help from robots, but a little bit safer. That's good. We give once uh, warm applause once again. Thank you so much for your presentation, yeah. and I can take this there. Thank you so much. Yeah.